What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. This is gonna be a walkthrough of the Sam Smyers Serum Sound Design Academy. This is my serum sound design course that will introduce you and walk you through everything that you need to know about serum and show you how to design your own sounds and break down how I figure out popular sounds. In this video, I just wanted to introduce you to the course platform and give you an overview of what it looks like when you log in as a student. I'm using this platform called Thinkific. This is a course platform. It's a popular one that a lot of course creators use. And this is what it will look like when you log in to access your course. This seat says the Sam Smyers Serum Sound Design Academy, 0% complete, because I haven't completed any of it. And you have these three different sections, and then this fourth section, which is going to be just some start to finish streams. So these are start to finish videos um, that I've been uploading. I've also uploaded upload these to YouTube. So this is kind of like a bonus section. The entire course with the lessons is about seven hours. And then so far uh, it's about nine hours with these, including these start to finish streams. So these are kind of like uh, bonus uh, things that if you want to watch them, you can watch them. And this is where I decide I want to make this Tiesto both base, and then I, I go through the entire process and film it. And when you watch this, you will understand everything that I'm doing once you kind of go through all these first steps. So this, uh, once you kind of get to the start to finish streams, after going through these first lessons, then you'll sort of see how I begin applying everything that I showed you in these first lessons. So we've got the serum overview designing the sound and then deconstructing popular sounds. So you click on your lesson and then you click on the video and it tells you the length of the video. This is the first one, I can hit play. So there it is, I'm talking, here's the video, I can scroll through it. Here's a volume, I can go full screen. I can click on this to get rid of this sidebar. I can go into the tools and speed it up if you don't like how quickly or slowly I'm talking. Uh, sometimes a lot of people like to listen to things on on like one and a half speed or like two times speed. So then you can, if you feel like, okay, I'm done with that lesson, I can hit complete and then continue. Then it automatically starts playing the next lesson and then it says it's 3% complete. So you can, and it gives you a little check mark so you can keep track of your progress. And then also if I just watch the entire video, it will also just mark it complete. So if I am at the end of this video, so that is everything I wanted to touch on in the oscillator section. I'll see you in the next lesson. So then it go ahead and uh, marks it complete and then you see it says 6% complete. If I uh, wanna mark it incomplete, I can mark it incomplete and then I can just click on any of these lessons, go through them all. You got your introduction, oscillator, warp knob, filters, envelopes, LFOs, velocity, note graphs, matrix, macro knobs, and modulations. Global effects menu items, wavetable editor, these are the advanced lessons about the wavetable editor, which is kind of advanced. I don't really use the wavetable editor too much, but I go into pretty specific details on how to use the wavetable editor if you do want to use it. Then after that, there is the designing sound. So after I give you everything that you know need to know about Serum, then I teach you the basics of designing bass plucks. Uh, FM synthesis with bass, uh, that's a lot of FM synthesis is really popular with making bass sounds. Subs, 808s, Reese's, leads, uh, basses and leads for like bass house, which are a bit more complicated. I spend a lot of time on bass because I feel like a lot of people use Serum for their bass sounds. So this is probably going to be the, the one, the, like Serum is probably going to be the tool that you use the most for creating your bass sounds if you are a Serum user. Then I've got some leads, synths, and keys, pads, arpeggios, and transgates. Explain all the basics of how, if you do want to create any of those sounds, you can begin creating those sounds. Once we get over the basics of how to use Serum, how to design these basic sounds, then we get into, okay, how do we listen to a sound in a song that we like? And how can you deconstruct that sound and try to recreate something in Serum? So once you have all the tools of understanding how to use Serum and then how to create some basic sounds. Like if I 
Now I know how to create a bass pluck from watching this video, then I hear a bass pluck in a popular sound. Now you have all these tools and tips on how to recreate that uh, bass pluck that you want to create using, uh, I teach, give you some ideas on how to do research, how to deconstruct other presets, how to choose wavetables, how to figure out the MIDI, how to use some popular AI tools like stem separation, some frequency analysis, and then how to kind of uh, put everything together is the last part. So then after you watch all those lessons, you can watch the start to finish streams. Once again, uh, watch me actually use all of these tools that I provided to you and see how I do. So I think it's a pretty comprehensive course for a beginner or a, uh, like if you just like got Serum and you want to learn how to use it, you can definitely watch uh, all these videos. And then if you want to learn the basics of how to design your own sounds, I think this is going to be really good for you. Also, if you have used Serum, but mainly have used presets and want to better understand everything, then this is a good uh, course for you, especially if you want to learn how to like deconstruct popular sounds. If you have watched any of my videos on like social media where I like remake popular sounds, then you can definitely watch this section and get a better idea of the tools and tips that I use to deconstruct popular sounds. If you do want to check out the course, I'll put a link down below. If you have any questions, you can contact me, message me on Instagram, or just hit support at samsmyers.com. You can check out the course on my Shopify store, which is store.samsmyers.com, or this Thinkific site. You can just head directly to this Thinkific site, which is learn.samsmyers.com, and you can access and grab the course from there.